What's going on guys, DJF here. Smash that like button, we're gonna be talking about headphones. Trantendo! And mixing with them. Plenty of stuff about headphones. Let's do this. So first off, I know a lot of people are gonna argue in the comment section, and please feel free to, and, and tell me, what, what do you like to do? Studio monitors or headphones? And whatnot and I'm gonna tell you why I like mixing with headphones over studio monitors sometimes so first off the obvious is you get a more personal listen to your music uh, nothing is more personal than listen to your headphones obviously you're not gonna sh you're not sharing it with the world so you're really gonna be very critical of your mix or your music in general uh, until it's ready uh, that doesn't mean that it's gonna outshine uh, using studio monitors or even listening into different environments like your car or listening at a club or whatnot. I mean, all that still, you should still do that. So don't worry about that. But you know, headphone mixing is definitely more personal. But more realistically uh, speaking in terms of technicality, uh, you're, when you're mixing with headphones, you don't have to deal with acoustic treatment like stuff like diffusion and all that so you know if you're listening to stuff in a studio uh, studio or your room uh, you might get those bouncing off the wall echoes and stuff like that that could throw off your mix could color your mix in a way to where you would feel like your mix isn't on point but when you have a pair of headphones on especially some like these right here which are the bare dynamic dt 770s i'm gonna let this focus in on that uh, yeah, and these are fantastic headphones and we're gonna talk about different kinds of headphones that I like using But obviously they're treated to where the noise will not leak out of there and Yeah, these are very good as now talking about different headphones that I use obviously again these bare dynamic DT 770s are on a lot of people's hot list as you can see it sits at 80 ohms So you do have to crank these up a little bit and I don't really recommend using preamps for headphones I I just don't get the whole point of that. There's just, uh, many reasons why you don't want to use a preamp for headphones. And one of them is just like you definitely saturate your mix and you'll get a different kind of mix when you're listening to it a, a certain kind of way, adding that extra feature to that. But I'm, I'm not trying to attack uh, Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre when it comes down to a, a pair of headphones. I know a lot of people are like, well, I mix with Beat by Dre headphones. Uh, and there's the thing that I want to talk about is frequency response. And the Beast by Dre headphones only come in at 20K Hertz. What? I definitely want to point that out because these have a higher frequency range at 35K Hertz. So that is a huge difference uh, between a pair of headphones that might run you up to $300 for a pair of studio headphones that are gonna run you, these in particular, or run you about to almost $200 or sometimes $150. I think that these are really easy to catch at that. And then on top of that, I just want to point out um, with the whole Beast by Dre headphone thing is that I have a pair of headphones right here, which these are uh, Audio Technicas, and I hit you with the model number because I really don't remember it. But these have a frequency response of 22K Hertz. So these are a pair of listening headphones, and I do recommend these if you can uh, find a pair because. Again, if you're listening to stuff on audio, like on mobile devices and stuff like that, this doubles up as something that you can make phone calls on because it has a microphone right here. Uh, but these are very, very good for listening. Not, not necessarily for mixing, but there's another pair of headphones that I've used over the, the past years or so, and it's the JVCs. You know, they're really good. I paid like maybe 40 bucks and they have a frequency response, again, at 22K Hertz. So yeah, so put that in consideration that listening headphones are listening headphones for a reason, like for like your casual listener or whatnot. I know the beat, the whole allure with the Beast by Dre headphones is a fact that, you know, they're stylish. It kind of says something about you as a buyer. That's pretty much the reason why Apple bought them up because it's just a lifestyle. And I'm not knocking anybody that uses them. They mix them, you do some fire mixes with them, great. Because it's all about what you're going to do, what's going to make uh, your mixes hot. Because some people won't want to mix with headphones. But uh, that really wraps it up. I'm going to go ahead and show off some demonstrations of just on the computer of how loud I listen to the headphones. Uh, sorry about me cutting myself off there. I was blamoring on, so I just want to show how loud I listen to stuff in my headphones or whatnot. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Youngster, 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 youngster. 
So as you can see, you can hear the ad libs and stuff like that. It's all about just listening to the detail of the music and not the loudness. If I was to roll up the loudness a little bit to like zero dB, you would hear like how music would sound normally. But, you know, at this volume, I feel that you can hear more detail, especially with the Bear Dynamic DT770s. They're great with detail, so it doesn't oversaturate or, you know, have things sounding like maybe you need more bass or anything like that. They're very great at flat response, much like studio monitors. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it back up to, uh, to 0 dB, and that will be plus 6 on your mixer. And the kick is a little uh, in the red. Also, from uh, if you observe the mix itself, uh, in general, me and I can't say it might work for everybody, but you know personally, I do like my melodies to be a little less than half of the of the volume of my kicks and my snares. That way, the kicks and the snares sound big without it be over exaggerating or over compressing stuff and all that. But that's it is what it is when it comes to that. You know, of course, I use the uh, Fruity Limiter because uh, it's it's bomb. You know, I roll off any unneeded transients especially in like the main melody or whatnot or the sample in this mat it is matter um, but yeah you know you can hear pretty much everything from this I'll turn it up again but yeah and also keep in mind in FL you know FL is more linear than uh, Ableton when it comes to sound quality there's a difference in sound quality there because uh, you know this is pretty much stereo per track even though it says forced to mono is still like stereo so uh, nothing nothing against that I do love the way FL Studio sounds absolutely you can definitely tell a FL beat from Ableton beats and stuff like that so let's go ahead and move forward to Ableton in Ableton I, I take the same approach I mean as far as I go I just play you know Play and listen. Just use your ears. Uh, check the levels and see, you know, if everything is right. Of course, you know, in Ableton, uh, if you have to, you can raise the the meters, and you can get a really good look at it. And at the same time, you know, just play with a couple of things. And I want to introduce a different bass. And also, you can see uh, within the master itself, it says it's clipping or whatnot. And, you know, I'll just turn it up. Uh, plus six. Not, not too bad. I mean, most songs are in like plus ten these days. But, you know, I just go and mix and listen to the, uh, to the song and just see what, you know, I might need to turn down if it might be the bass. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, just make sure that everything is honest in your mix and stuff like that. And then if you have to, just go back and uh, listen to it loud. Sounds like the bass, you know, needs to be turned down a bit. So I would turn down the bass. The 808 that is and that's basically about it there so just let me know if this video was helpful if you want more like uh, I guess mixing advice I mean it's tons of it on YouTube but you know this how I will listen in my headphones or whatnot again I I recommend that you spend great uh, good money on your headphones in general as far as your studio mixing headphones again I recommend the bear dynamic uh, DT 770s pros and make sure you know either they're the 80 ohm or the 250 ohm versions so that way you'll get like the full amount in terms of the frequency response because you don't want anything lower than like uh, 30k hertz but yeah I'm DJ F thank y'all again appreciate y'all for kicking it with me and I am out of here you know what time it is later Trap Tendo.